Excellent. Well, um, welcome back and good afternoon, uh, everybody. Um, and welcome if you haven't joined before. This is the third and final day of this short event series. Uh, we're focusing today in session three on using behavioural models to inform policy. Just briefly, my name's Jane Meeks and I manage the Gateway to Mathematics. And I think, as you all know, we're the impact initiative of the Isaac Newton Institute for Mathematical Sciences. So um, this event series is, our, is to do with our work with the Ramp Continuity Network, which has been informed by Juniper, the Joint Universities Pandemic and Epidemiological Research Programme. Uh, and um, we have said thanks very much to Ed Hill and also Flavio Toxvard um, and um, Kira Dangerfield for all their help in advising on the scientific um, structure of this event. And uh, so I would just like to remind you all just a few little bits of housekeeping about the Zoom. Um, there will be a few minutes for questions at the end of each talk. Please either post your questions in chat or raise your hand, your virtual hand that is. Um, we will have another discussion at the end of this afternoon and um, hopefully some of our speakers will be able to join us for that. But it will be an opportunity to ask more general questions as well. And um, can you please stay muted throughout, but do raise your hand if you wish to speak. The recession's being, the session's being recorded, but only speakers and organisers are seen. Um, and the Q&A and discussion sessions will be recorded, but won't be posted online. If you've got any issues, please do post them in the chat and we'll, we'll hopefully help you out. So without further ado, I'm going to pass you on to Flavio Toxvard, who's going to do a little bit more of an, of an introduction. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome everyone back. If you were here the first few sessions, otherwise just welcome the full stop. Uh, so the idea of, of, of this workshop was to bring together uh, different kinds of disease modelers, but also social and behavioral scientists to, uh, to try to better understand uh, behavior in context of, of infectious diseases and epidemics. And uh, in some sense, you know, there are two reasons why we want to study these things. One is a purely scientific one of trying to understand uh, and trying to describe what's going on. Uh, and the second part uh, is more of a kind of a practical policy thing. We'd like to use our knowledge about these things uh, in order to actually do better going forward. So I, I thought that uh, I'd like to share a quote with you, which I always show economists when I want to talk about infectious diseases. Uh, can you all see this, um, this, um, this quote? So this is by Gersowitz and Hammer, uh, who were some of the earlier um, contributors to the economic epidemiology literature and what they pointed out is that uh, although uh, you know economics really is uh, has a set of tools that is very well suited to the study of uh, of epidemics uh, because uh, epidemiology really is a very nice uh, uh, application of the concept of externalities this is not something that uh, that has uh, seen enough progress as of 2004. Um, now uh, yesterday uh, one of the speakers made reference to a 2007 paper by Neil Ferguson, which I duly uh, went and read, and, and he also bemoaned already in 2007 the lack of progress from the modeling perspective, from the modeler side, in integrating behavior into models. And he said, the time for this work is now, and he said that in 2007. Uh, and then also he helpfully suggested who were the ones who were likely to contribute to this endeavor. He says the interdisciplinary approach remains vital, and this is a time for epidemiology, sociology, and the history of medicine to step up to the plate and collaborate. So I don't know how that project has gone, uh, but today at least, uh, I think economics is going to make uh, a case that uh, we might have some tools at least that can be useful. So uh, before the break, uh, Eli Fenichel will be speaking to us. Uh, he has uh, a, a long past in, in this literature. I will also speak. And then after the break, we will see some very interesting contributions from um, epidemiologists uh, also starting to think about behavior and how to include these into uh, policy design. So I will not take any more of your time. Uh, I will pass over to Eli uh, and you have, um, you have your, your time. There you go. <laughs> 